The Economic Community of West African States and the United Nations High Commission for Refugees are seeking ways to provide protection and solutions to over 7 million refugees and displaced persons in ECOWAS member states. This was announced in Port Harcourt during a two-day retreat for ECOWAS ambassadors. The retreat's primary aim is to address the complex humanitarian needs arising from displacement within the region, foster collaboration among stakeholders, and mobilize resources to implement effective solutions for the protection and well-being of affected populations. At the opening session, the Deputy Director for the West Central Africa for the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, Mr. Xavier Krish, said beyond the search for solutions, the UN HCR and ECOWAS must find protection for refugees as well as internally displaced persons. So, uh, the ECOWAS region is facing a very complex humanitarian situation with always more refugees and IDPs, internally displaced population. Today, 7 million of uh, people are displaced in the ECOWAS region. In this context, the collaboration with ECOWAS to provide protection and find solutions to the displaced people is absolutely fundamental. And the ECOWAS Commission, the ECOWAS member states, and the people of ECOWAS have provided uh, lots of, uh, shown lots of solidarity, hospitality, to uh, bring support to this displaced population. We are here today to work with the ambassadors to ECOWAS to see how to strengthen uh, this uh, response, humanitarian response, but also how to better protect the people themselves, the communities welcoming them. And I think it's important to talk about the communities. Nigeria's permanent representative to ECOWAS, Ambassador Musa Nuhu, highlights the plights of refugees, especially in West Africa. Uh, ECOWAS uh, have regional programs addressing uh, all issues of displacement, humanitarian crisis in West Africa, not only particularly in Nigeria. As you know, the Sahel region, especially the countries of Burkina Faso uh, and, and Mali, that is why we have uh, so much displacement of uh, the community citizens. Yes, we have that challenge uh, in the northeastern Nigeria, and I know the course is doing a lot in terms of making humanitarian interventions in the northeastern Nigeria. Uh, there are so many programs and activities being carried out by by Equos in the northeastern Nigeria. Some have to do with direct interventions or providing support to the victims of terrorism. Ehini Vera Mwese is the woman leader in the Ikeogin refugee settlement in Benue State. A Cameroonian by nationality, Vera says many young girls are being exploited in most refugee camps. They should have pity on the refugees. The refugees are going through a lot. There is hunger in the settlement. There is starvation. There is hardship. They should at least find a means in which they can help the refugees in any way that the refugees can be, can at least stand on their feet again. You see children giving birth to children. And even some children, they are being exploited by people. They leave the settlement some without even the consent of their parents. Uh, they decide to follow some people to go out to urban areas, even to Boki, to where there are those cocoa farms, to work so that they can uh, at least have money to come back and take care of themselves. And after working for those people, they end up not being paid. Because they just consider that since we are refugees, there are nothing we can do. The Emma will tell you after you are a common, a common refugee, what can you do? The ECOWAS Commissioner for Human Development and Social Affairs re-echoed the fact that it is not just enough to reduce the number of refugees in West Africa, but more importantly, a drastic step must be taken to address a recurrence. The theme for the retreat is improving the protection space for refugees, IDPs, stateless persons in West Africa, and unlocking solutions to forcible displacements. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.